again. Today we are going to make some homes for bees, mason bees specifically. As you can see, I've already started painting this jar a little bit. We're gonna paint it the rest of the way. All right, so you will need a jar for starters, tin can of some sort, some paint. This is um, acrylic paint. It's made for outdoor settings, so it should hold up to the elements, at least for a while. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. In your kit, you're gonna have a little baggie of paint. You'll just tear off the top and you're gonna pour it into something or on something. I've got an old hummus container. You could also use um, a newspaper, anything you can find in your recycling bin that's clean. Just something that you don't mind getting a bunch of paint on. And you're gonna just paint your jar. So there should be a sponge brush in your kit. And you're gonna coat the whole thing. Try not to have too many globs on there. If you would like, after you've painted, you could use a skewer or something like that to carve into it, you know, a name, or you could write Mason Bee Home, or Welcome Home Bee, something like that. But we're just kind of trying to make it decorative. So Mason Bees are actually native the area. We always think of honeybees and honeybees are important because they pollinate lots of things but other bees pollinate too and mason bees are one of them. And unlike honeybees they don't have a hive where they generate honey. They live in a different sort of home, the kind of home that we're going to make. And they're native to the area. Honeybees are not. So it's important that we promote our native Creatures because they help stabilize our ecosystem. And you're gonna cover it with paint. You might want two coats. You might just want one. So we've got one coat on, so we're gonna let that dry. If you wanna do a second coat while you let it dry, you can go wash your brush and let that dry too so that it doesn't get all stiff and it's easier to paint the second coat. Okay, so we have our painted can. You could have painted a design on it too if you wanted or written something on it. I have two toilet paper rolls. We're gonna put those in the can. You're gonna kind of squish them in there like this. That's gonna help hold all our little pieces of paper in place. And this is where the bees make their homes. So lengthwise, starting on the shorter end, you're going to put your pencil against the paper and roll it around. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you want it to be tight enough to hold in place like that. And then you're going to tape the ends. So I'm using masking tape because masking tape is biodegradable. That means it breaks down in the environment. You could use scotch tape that doesn't break down. So eventually it leaves a little bit of trash in the environment. And then you're going to make a bunch of paper rolls and put them in the tin can. So we're going to roll. And I just got scratch paper. Your kits are gonna have new paper with no printing on it. And that one got a little away from me, so I'm gonna start over. And if you have little hands, you might wanna ask a grown-up for a little bit of help with this. And then, kinda hold it tight, get a little tape, tape it together. And you might also want to make a bunch of pieces of tape and set them along your work surface and then you can just pull them as time goes on rather than having to rip a new one each time.
So once you have filled all of the cavity, they shouldn't move too much. I've got those in there super tight. Those are gonna be all the places that the bees are going to make their homes. So you've got your beautiful can filled and the bees are gonna make their homes in here. So you wanna hang it up high somewhere um, close to water if you can, if there's somewhere where puddles tend to generate or maybe you're so lucky that you happen to have a stream or a little pond on your property, hang it there and hang it up a little way so the bees can fly in and make their home. There's different ways you can hang it. If you want, you could just like duct tape it to a wall. You could ask a grown up to drill a hole through the back end and then you can run a string through here and hang it like this off a branch of some sort. You know, maybe you have a nice tree that's near a little pond or a puddle and you wanna hang it there for the bees to make their home. And then keep an eye on it. Don't get too, too close, but keep an eye on it and the bees will come and make their home in there and they will be excellent for pollinating anything you have nearby. If you have flowers or fruit trees or a garden, the bees will help pollinate it and generate fruit. Enjoy.